live from the beautiful Riverside Hotel on Las Olas Boulevard in downtown Fort Lauderdale. Welcome to the 2014 Seminole Hard Rock Winterfest Boat Parade. Welcome to the 2014 Winterfest Boat Parade representing Eye on South Florida. I'm Andrea Ocampo. And I'm Jessica Kuzovitsky. And it's official. The parade starts with the amazing colorful fireworks. Sedano Supermarkets and Coca-Cola are sponsoring the fireworks barge. It shoots off fireworks the entire 12-mile parade route. Nothing like starting things off with a bang, bang, and a wow. I wonder if Sedano's and Coca-Cola created a package of goodies for those guys to eat along the way. Now I'm hungry. Does anyone have a Coca-Cola? There it goes, the fireworks barge. I'm already so excited. That was an amazing display of fireworks we just saw. There goes Sedano's and Coca-Cola. Looks like they have a few fireworks left for us. It's such an exciting time of year to see the Winterfest Boat Parade back. Absolutely, and the weather is absolutely beautiful right here in South Florida. Give a South Florida whistle to this year's Grand Marshal. Hip-hop rapper and South Florida native Flo Rida aboard the JM Lexus showboat. His hands are in the air and waving on the Nova Southeastern bow. The Grand Marshal is brought to you by Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. This showboat is a true reflection of the parade's theme, TV's Greatest Hits. Florida is not just a superstar, he's very charitable. He supports City Harvest and Got Your Six. Another celebrity on board tonight, actor Adam Beach. He is a native of, he is a Native American known for roles in Smoke Signals and Walker, Texas Ranger. Wow, they look like they're having a ton of fun on that boat. Absolutely, the party has just begun on the 125th foot showboat. Check out Flo Rida doing his thing. It's gonna be a fun, tonight, fun night tonight with TV's greatest hits all along the Intracoastal Waterway. Here comes the Lady Windridge on board the South Broward Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority and the Ada Nu Chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity. They are celebrating the 35 year history of Soul Train. Soul Train was the longest running nationally syndicated program in TV history. It was on the air from 1971 to 2006. Delta Sigma Theta and Omega Sci Fi have an even longer history. They are a nonprofit organization which have been around more than 100 years. 
They serve the community and provide scholarship funds to deserving college students in Broward County. What a beautiful boat. It's absolutely gorgeous. That's a 179 foot showboat. They have to be having a great time with the Soul Train theme on that boat. Such great music from that era. And definitely some dance moves. Absolutely. They've got Popeye the Sailor Man on the Rhapsody on Blue. Popeye and friends on board wishing everyone Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. They also have lots of spinach. Captain Rick pointed out that Popeye was so popular on TV that sales of spinach in America went up by 33%. Over 3,000 lights were used to make the tree. Over 4,000 to make those cans of spinach and Popeye, olive oil, Bluto, sweet pea, and mama oil on board. It's the first year in the parade. Hi, Popeye. I love sweet pea. And that's a 39-foot sailboat. He looks like Popeye. <laughs> He's definitely nailing the look. Bye, Popeye. This, mo this boat may be built tough, but it's not Ford tough. For over a century, Ford has been a staple of American culture, cruising its way through generations. Today, there may not be such thing as perfection, but driving a Ford comes pretty close. This boat brings holiday greetings from all of your friends at South Florida Ford. Powered by Ford EcoBoost technology, the South Florida Ford boat is a symbol of holiday cheer. May your holidays be merry and bright. South Florida Ford is aboard a 137-foot showboat this evening. That's a big boat. That is some great lights on that boat. I love the color. Everyone's having a great time partying on top there. Happy holidays from South Florida Ford. And the weather is absolutely beautiful tonight, perfect for this Winterfest boat parade. It looks like the people on the sidelines are having an amazing time. It's definitely a perfect night to take out the family to watch the boat parade. Happy holidays from Ford. Happy holidays, everyone. Looks like they put a lot of work into that boat. Oh yeah. Here comes the sea wench. There's TV's greatest hit is Fantasy Island. They say come ride with us as we step into a tropical paradise. And the new river tonight is definitely paradise. Close friends and family flew in from Virginia and Colorado. Who wouldn't want to leave winter and come to Fantasy Island? The sea wench is decorated with over 8,000 lights. It took three days to decorate. They have birds, palm trees, and wait for it, the plane, the plane. And what a cute plane that is. I know, you see Santa and an elf right there. 
They're going to take that plane all the way through the intracoastal. I'm sure it was so much fun to decorate that boat. It looks like they're having a great time. Here is Charlie's Angels boat with Massage Envy. They have three angels on top, the Cali Nikta. The folks at Massage Envy say they bring peace one massage at a time. Just like the angels did on the show, Charlie's Angels ran during the late 70s. I think that's the last time I had a good massage. <laughs> Maybe I should call Massage Envy. They're aboard a 39-foot powerboat tonight. Ah, check this out, the 4077. Coming to Fort Lauderdale, MASH was one of the most popular TV shows of all time. Fitting for this entry, it's designed to be a fully handicapped accessible vessel. Its mission is to get wounded warriors out on the water. I definitely love this theme on this 37 foot power boat. They're celebrating MASH like nobody ever has. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Jessica. <laughs> The Stardust is taking us for a sleigh ride tonight. They have a big sleigh on board with gifts from Santa. Everyone on board is dressed in red and white. The Dacus family has traveled all around Florida and the islands on the Stardust. They named the boat after the song. It's a 38-foot power boat. They're definitely having a good time on that boat. Look at that. I like how color-coordinated they all are. That Santa's huge. There he goes. Here comes the rod holder. The theme for this year's parade is Chips, California Highway Patrol. Remember that show? Ponch played by Eric Estrada. They've got two inflatable motorcycles on top. Local and federal law enforcement officers on board. Makes sense with the chips theme, with the chips theme. Second year in the parade for the rod holder. The boat got his name as a couple of college buddies made a trip to Key West. Those are so cute, the Snoopy motorcycle. You know, they were able to fit him on top on the 24 foot power boat. And the palm tree is representing South Florida. Absolutely, representing very well. <laughs> Here comes the love boat with Freeman Orthodontics on Sapphire. I bet everyone on that boat loves their smiles. Thanks to Freeman, there are thousands of perfect smiles in Broward County. They are also a hugely charitable company. They give to schools and every year they collect hundreds of gifts for Toys for Tots. Happy holidays, everyone, from Freeman Orthodontics. I love their sweaters. They're very <laughs> festive tonight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a 58-foot powerboat. Smile, your teeth are perfect. Yes. Here comes the brightly lit Junior Winterfest Captain Showboat powered by Florida Power and Light. This year's junior captain is a Superman. No, that's not his image on the boat. But if you look who is waving, it's Alex Casamento representing Arthritis Foundation Florida chapter. Alex is a true superhero and is battling juvenile arthritis. The Winterfest Junior Captain program began six years ago with 15-year-old Amanda Blake, who fought cancer. FPL powered this program for two years by supporting brave youth and has taken this amazing program to a new level. Winterfest had 13 nominees for Junior Captain this year, and over 28,000 people viewed the contest on Facebook. It looks so beautiful out there on the water tonight. The I boats have perfect surf. I 
definitely love everybody's enthusiasm and especially their smiles when they see the awesomely decorated boats. The Coral Springs Chinese Cultural Association on board the Aqua View tonight. There's a huge red lantern archway. It's being guarded by two 76 foot dragons which bring prosperity and good fortune. Their theme is Mulan, who was a heroine from ancient China. If you remember the story, she joined the military to fight in her father's place. They made those clouds on top out of plywood. Everyone is dressed up in Chinese costumes with young ladies dancing with umbrellas. Mulan was definitely one of my favorite stories. The message was really wonderful behind it, and I really love how they brought the boat to life. The dragon on the boat is amazing. Very impressive decorations. Coral Springs Chinese School, check them out. The Wellington Wildlife Sanctuary on board the Musette tonight. They rescue abused and illegally possess exotic animals. The Musette hosts dinner cruises when it's not in the parade. You can charter them for your own parties. And it looks like they're having a party on there tonight. The Musette is so pretty. I love how they decorated. Very sophisticated, very colorful. And look at all those smiles on board. Yeah, <laughs> they're definitely showing off how many people you can party on that boat. Well, the Wellington Wildlife Sanctuary aboard the Musette. This is definitely a highlight for so many. To be a part of a parade, to even be able to watch a parade of this caliber is so exciting. It's got to be very exciting to be on one of the boats as well. Love the music notes. Here comes the Muset 2, all decked out in holiday lights, stars and snowflakes and bows. You can charter the Muset 2 for your own parties as well. That's a 74-foot powerboat charter. Everyone on board is having a great time tonight. Andrea, that sounds like a fun idea to have a party on a boat tonight for Winterfest. Absolutely. You know what we're going to be doing after this, Jessica? What are we doing? We're hitting the boats to party. Yes. <laughs> Cannot wait. There are plenty of people on the sidelines along the entire intracoastal waterways watching tonight's parade. Absolutely. This is definitely a highlight of the month for sure. December is definitely lighting up with the Winterfest Boat Parade. And as we can see right here, check out this classic sport fishing boat. It's the Miss Bradford where they are performing Snow White on board. And I see a familiar face on deck. Julia Dale is dressed as Snow White and belting out her classic holiday tunes. She is, of course, the Miami Heat's lucky charm. Absolutely adorable. She's so cute. She is such an amazing singer for such a young age, too. I know. And honestly, Snow White is one of my favorite characters. I was actually Snow White for Halloween, so this is one of my favorites. This is very exciting. <laughs> she looks great. How cute. Where are the dwarves? I don't see the dwarves. Maybe they're hanging inside the boat. <laughs> She's going to sing the entire waterway. Well, that's definitely an artist. I mean, the fact that she's on a boat belting it out and really showing what she's all about is definitely makes us excited. The fact that she's the Miami Heat's lucky charm. What a cute red bow. Bye, Snow White.
Jessica, can you sing like that? <laughs> you do not want to hear me sing. <laughs> In the shower, I, I think I sing like that. That's what I imagine it to sound <laughs> like. Here's a boat that's sure to draw a crowd. It's the WSVN See It On 7 boat, featuring some of the stars of Channel 7's Animation Domination Sunday Night lineup. There's Family Guy, American Dad, and of course, The Simpsons. Do. <laughs> and talk about characters. There's Seven News anchors Belkis Nere and Craig Stevens. They're always so animated. Deco Productions designing this year's boat, not to be confused with Deco Drive, seen weeknights at 7.30 on 7. Those are two of the most familiar faces in local news, and they are taking the Deco Drive boat all along the Intracoastal. I really love Belkis and the fact that she's a part of the, the actual parade definitely brings it to life, and I really love that Family Guy's on there, which is one of my favorites. They're aboard a 130-foot showboat tonight. You can definitely see people getting very excited as they see Belkies, you know, and Craig. They're d like you said, they're definitely a staple of South Florida, and everybody's light faces are lighting up. Those are some gorgeous lights on the side. Oh yeah. Hey Belkies. Hey Craig. Happy Winterfest it is. Here's Summer Wind with Anthony's Cold Fire Pizza and Anthony's Runway 84 on board. Paul and young Ron from Big 105.9 are up on the bow. Look at the cool lights up meatballs and martinis. Yum. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is coal. Coal fired pizza, that is. I wonder if they have a Big 105.9 Paul and young Ron pizza in, on there. Now there's Miss Florida USA, Ashley Lolly. She's managed to not spill a meatball on her dress so far. Better than I would have done for sure. <laughs> you guys better save me some food. You know that boat has some of the best food on the sea tonight. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm definitely a pizza gal. And I'm definitely a big fan of Paul and Young Ron, absolutely. Really great illustrations with the lights on that boat. Absolutely. Martinis, pizzas, meatballs, you cannot go wrong. <laughs> Causing trouble already, those two characters. Pizza well done. Anthony's coal fired pizza. I'm starting to get hungry, Jessica. <laughs> Here comes Mr. Bob, and as always, every inch of the boat is covered in lights. They are celebrating Bob Hope and all of his TV specials on board. Bob Hope was the Grand Marshal for Winterfest back in 1987. While here, he and his wife took their Christmas card picture on board Mr. Bob. The family decorates the boat every year, children, grandchildren, and friends on board. That's a 60-foot sport fishing boat. The lights are just incredible. Absolutely, and look at that energy on the boat. I absolutely love it. They sure brought that boat to life. Now here's a TV classic, Doctor Who's on board the first love. They have two life-size Daleks, the robots from the show. 
and of course Doctor Who's time machines. Friends are on board playing the characters. Doctor Who is the longest, longest running sci-fi show in the world. They use 20 strings of 200 LEDs, each extending from the rails to the masthead. The lights on deck are wired onto disco color box. Honestly, I love Doctor Who. I love the sailboat. It's so different from what we've been seeing so far. I know, and the fact that they use Doctor Who as an actual theme, I definitely give them a round of applause. Look at the time machine up front. Absolutely. Very cool. I know, super cool. Very well thought out. The romance is brewing in the air tonight aboard the Keurig Love Boat. Six local couples are renewing their vows in the parade. The new Keurig 2.0 brews up the perfect beverage at the touch of a button. With more than 400 beverages available, couples don't have to agree on their favorite coffee to stay together. Today, they're hoping to brew everlasting love. Lady Chateau is here in winter, available for charters. Jessica, that's pretty romantic. People are saying I do's on the boat. That's six couples, that's exciting. Six local couples renewing their vows. I love that. And they're definitely going to need some Keurig to stay awake. <laughs> What's your favorite Keurig flavor? Anything caramel. I love vanilla. And here comes the extra dirty. I bet they're drinking martinis on board. They've used over 3,000 LED lights to decorate the boat, even lit up the outriggers. They are loud. They have over 1,000 watts of music power. You sure hear them coming. They have friends and family on board, third year in the parade for extra dirty. It's a nice size boat, 26 foot power boat, and I love the two flamingos on the front. <laughs> yes, Look at that's them. so Flor Florida. Yes. The whole family aboard. I love their hats. They have elf hats. They have Santa hats. They have Rudolph on top. Very cool. A Grinch-themed boat with friends and kids from a local shelter on board. Grinch and Max the dog on board. They say the Grinch realized he made a mistake and returned all the gifts back to the Who's. That everyone deserves a second chance. The folks on La Pintita say they've always wanted to be in the parade and bought the boat last year so they could join. The boat is dedicated to its first captain, Walter. What a fun theme for a Christmas parade. Absolutely, and being able to give these kids an opportunity like this to be a part of an amazing parade, I'm sure their hearts are so full. What a great cause. I love The Grinch too. It's such a great movie. The Grinch will not steal Christmas this year on the Intracoastal. Hey, Grinch. See the Grinch big bag of toys on the back of the boat? I'd, yeah, I definitely love the layout of that. <laughs> Look, the kids are so happy. And right here comes Gilligan's Islands aboard Mr. CJ. Lots of blue lights and multiple Gilligans and Gingers. Looks like the skipper and the rest of the crew is on board. Really such a fun theme. It's a great theme on this 24 foot powerboat. There goes Gilligan. Yeah, definitely some dance moves as you can see. Definitely Gilligan's Island is one of my absolute favorites, and I really love that we get to see this theme on a boat this year. It's such a classic. Here comes the clubhouse. Florida Powerboat Club on board. This group does poker runs and other fun events throughout Florida. 
They're taking the theme literally, showing episodes of Power Boating in Paradise on board. That's the longest running Power Boat TV show in the nation. They decorated with about 4,000 lights on the 39 foot Power Boat. I really love ha how they have the projection on the back of the boat. It definitely brings it to life. Such a cool idea to have the show running. I'm really loving the Santa outfits. They're all color coordinated and they definitely have some dance moves. That is so neat. Look at that. We'll have to tune in and check out the show. Absolutely. Look at their socks, so cute. They're so festive tonight. That's incredible how they attach the screen to the boat. Yeah, I wonder how long it took them to put that up there. Here is the berry patch. They're celebrating the holiday TV classic, Frosty the Snowman. Colored lights all around the boat. Snowman is 12 feet tall. Cliff Berry incorporating, putting this boat together. This boat is used to clean up oil spills. So you could say this is a really slick entry. I really love how tall the Christmas tree is. Obviously, Frosty the Snowman is really bringing it to life on this 39-foot oil cleanup vessel. It really does amazing for our environment. And what is the holiday season without a little Frosty the Snowman? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, they definitely have some dance moves. It looks like they even have their moves coordinated. I know. They probably <laughs> <laughs> figured some choreography before the boat parade. I like it. Look at this cute boat. This is the Cruising Altitude. They're decorated for that song, Let It Go, from Frozen. They have Elsa on the front looking out through the castle. Olaf is there too. Captain Todd even created the stairway that goes up to the castle. First time in the parade for cruising altitude aboard a 26 foot power boat. Absolutely frozen, everybody's absolute favorite. How can you not sing along with that amazing movie? It's there you go, It's definitely one go. of the biggest movies in recent history. I sing this song all the time, Jessica. Can we hear a sample? Let it, no, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. But Olaf is honestly one of my favorite characters, such a funny character, and I really love that they incorporated in there. Habitat for Humanity Broward celebrating a Charlie Brown Christmas aboard Facetious. Snoopy has a great house in the series. Habitat says everyone else should as well. They built the Snoopy Dog House with supplies from the ReStore. Charlie Brown, Lucy, Woodstock, and Snoopy on board. And they even have that sad Christmas tree. There are 368 families in Broward County that are now living in Habitat homes. What's great about Habitat, people work to help build homes for other Habitat families, and then they get one of their own, which they also help build. Such a great cause, really, Habitat for Humanity. They do so much in our community. I love Habitat for Humanity. I actually helped them build a home in Los Angeles once, and it, they just give homes to such needy families, and it's so great during the holidays. And it's definitely an organization that I recommend for anybody to really be involved in. It's definitely it's so easy to get in touch with them, you know, to really be a part of it. They're having a Gilligan Island party aboard the SS Minnow. Gilligan and the Skipper are on the front of the boat in yellow rain slickers. They are being squared with the they're being squirted with the rain and there's lightning and thunder. I bet Mr. and Mrs. Howell are hiding in the thatch palm on the back. Guests will all be dressed as cast members. They're enjoying coconut drinks, island fare, and island music and dancers aboard this 100-foot powerboat. 
another Gilligan's Island theme. Yes, very popular tonight, but really how, how can it not be so popular? It's one of America's favorite TV show. And as you can see, people taking selfies. Impulse Group, South Florida, is on Anticipation 5 tonight. They have LED banners recapping some of the events. As you can see, all the windows are lighted up with hot pink. Hot pink is the signature color of Impulse Group. Impulse Group South Florida is sponsored by the AIDS Healthcare Foundation. They are a volunteer group of young gay men who work to promote the prevention of education and treatment of HIV. They are active in eight U.S. cities and three countries. You can charter Anticipation 4 for your own events. It definitely has a sophisticated look. You have the snowflakes, you have beautiful LED lights in the front. The LED lights are very different and they provide a very sleek look. A very stylish boat on this 82 foot power boat. It's like a nightclub up there. Yeah, it's definitely a nightclub. <laughs> Here is Anticipation 4. Masonic Charities Incorporated is on board. This is a group that supports Masonic Medical Research Laboratory. It's one of the world leading research labs for heart disease. That's why they have that bright red EKG running down the side. There's also a seven foot high square and compass on the top there. That's the symbol of free masonry. Yellow Cab and AM Jet Pavement professionals helped fund this float for the Masonic Charities. Man, that boat is packed. They're all on a 91 foot showboat tonight. Everyone having such a good time tonight. Let me tell you a story about a man named Jed. Here comes the Beverly Hillbillies aboard Bimini Twist. They have the family truck, cabin, outhouse, and oil derrick. Friends and family helping put this all together. The float is gold. Black gold, that is. They are dedicating this year's parade entry in memory of their good friend, Walter Seahouse. He, has, he was part of the decorating crew for years. Wow, look at, look at this wonderful theme here. Everybody has the same outfit on. They really put a lot of thought and effort into this 43-foot powerboat. The Beverly Hillbillies was a classic television show everyone of our parents watched. <laughs> Absolutely, look at that right there. Honestly, it's really intricate. They're decorating, and right there it says the Be Beverly Hillbillies, and of course the banjo. <laughs> That's a great theme. I love it really it. is. They really put a lot of thought and effort into it. And they have a little choreography, as you can see. They all have on matching wigs for that Ellie Mae look. Christmas in Korea for the folks on The Predator. They have a mash theme going on. Hawkeye, Radar, Hot Lips, Houlihan are on board. So are BJ and Father Mulcahy. They have the big red cross and army camo netting. MASH was on the air from 1972 to 1983. Friends and family on board tonight. The 61 foot powerboat. I love how everyone is wearing camouflage. I love it. They bring camo to life. Representing on the intracoastal tonight for MASH. And MASH is definitely on reruns, as you can see from time to time. It's definitely America's favorite show. Look at their outfits. They're all obviously in camo, but they all have their style to it, as you can see. You rang. It's the Adams Family Boat. The family making this entry happen, they call themselves the Corns Adams family. There's Uncle Fester, Pugsley, Wednesday, Lurch, and of course, Morticia and Gomez. Even the thing is on board. 
The 25-foot tall house was built with supplies donated by Advanced Roofing. Advanced Roofing in the parade for its 23rd year. This European river boat was brought specifically for the parade. They say it took over 2,000 man hours to put this together. Friends from Sunrise Mission in Fort Lauderdale on board. They're actually flying their flag at half mass in honor of the actor who played Pugsley. Really, one of my absolute favorites, Adam's family. His family favorite. I love Cousin It right there. Hysterical. It's really fun to try and identify all of the characters from the show on the boat. Absolutely. As you can see, we have Bugsley, we have Morticia, and Gomez. And there's Wednesday. Absolutely. Snap, snap. How can you not snap along <laughs> with, the, with the song? Is that a real mustache? I don't know. $5, it's a real mustache. He might have grown it out for this. Absolutely, <laughs> he got into character. We're coming off of Movember, so <laughs> it makes sense. Check this out. The South Plantation High School Theater Club joins the parade. First timers, and they are performing scenes from the play Shrek. They just did this performance to over 10,000 people in two weeks. Folks along the parade route will get to see five different scenes. There are over 10,000 lights and swamp trees. 15 students will be performing. Hughes Catering donating the boat for this entry. Hughes Catering has been in the business for 35 years and wishes everyone a Merry Christmas. That's an 82 foot power boat they're sailing on tonight. I really love that they're using Shrek as a theme. How exciting performing a play on the sea. I know they're actually signing their play. As you can see, sign language right there. That's it's a really amazing. intricate performance. Hey, is that look at the dra <laughs> look at the dragon in the back. Wow. <laughs> we almost missed that. Everybody knows your name on this boat. It's the Cheers boat. Florida spying specialist on board the Anita K tonight. They chose the Cheers theme because it fits with their goal of providing customized treatment for all types of spine issues. They are all wearing those awful 80s Christmas sweaters on board like they did on Cheers. They have a twinkling spine on the stern. Florida Spine Specialist, where everybody knows your name and we're always glad you came. Cheers to a wonderful 2014 and best wishes for the year ahead. I love that theme. And they definitely have those 80 funny, those 80s funny sweaters on this 46 foot power boat. Ah, Beautiful lights. The Cheers theme music. Here comes the sea life. On board tonight, season's hospice staff and volunteers. They have Santa and his reindeer up on the bow. They decorated with hundreds of colorful lights. The crew at season wants to wish everyone a joyous holiday season. Season's hospice and palliative care is Broward County's premier hospice provider. Hospice and Seasons Foundation are dedicated to honoring life and offering hope to those they serve. Tonight aboard a 68 foot power boat. Those angels are absolutely beautiful. Really brings the boat to life. Absolutely. I love the little Santa hats. Look, they're, they're tiny. so cute. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing this Winterfest boat parade from those windows? That's unbelievable here comes the smartest man in the world captain gino aboard the island time says they decorated as the grinch who stole christmas it's his wife's favorite show and gino says he wants a happy wife we're told terry does a pretty mean impression of cindy lou who <laughs> first time in the parade for island time friends and family help them decorate the artwork is absolutely amazing Former Disney artist Bruce Van Der Mullen, Van Der Mullen, did the designs. Well, Gino is a very smart man. A happy wife is a happy life. 
That is true, guys. Pay attention. <laughs> Absolutely. Take notes. Gino knows what he's talking about. I really love how they brought that boat to life. Absolutely. With the Grinch who stole Christmas. It's such a great theme. And their lights are incredible. It's so much fun. I really love that theme. It's very animated. All the kids love it. It's really one of my favorite cartoons that I anticipate every holiday season. I love it. A Dukes of Hazard boat. Now this boat is always painted like the General Lee from the show, but they added lights to make it special for Winterfest. All characters from the TV show are on board, including Luke and Bo Duke, Daisy, Uncle Jesse, and Boss. All on board this 30-foot powerboat. Oh my gosh, look at their dog. So cute, they brought their pet on board. See a couple pairs of Daisy Dukes on that boat. Absolutely, and we definitely have some style with those cowboy hats. A little western to the parade. Uh-huh, and I love the song, Sweet Home Alabama. Here is Great Escape. It's one of the Carefree Boat Club boats. On board tonight, two of Carefree's favorite dock masters, Justin and Joe. Also on board, one of Carefree's newest members, the Perez family. This entry is one of many entries in the parade from the Carefree Boat Club. Definitely the Carefree Boat Club, always very busy on this 33-foot powerboat. They're definitely showing off the boats that you can join their club and use if you want. And right there, their motto, living the Carefree lifestyle. They do it so well, Jessica. They really, <laughs> really do. <laughs> I could definitely feel the energy in the air. Here comes American Bandstand aboard Lady G. Winterfest proudly presents this full-on production from television's past. They have a big screen TV with the show playing. Aerial dancers. This American Bandstand theme entry will have us swinging, swaying, and singing to top 40 hits along the parade route. Six Star Entertainment brings this entry to life and has us boogieing all night long. I absolutely love this theme. It's because it has dance, and I love to dance. And the fact that they're bringing this to life is pretty exciting. It looks like a floating nightclub party. Absolutely. I see us on that boat. I think we need to get on that one later. Okay. <laughs> there are some people enjoying the parade. Absolutely. Everybody in their festive get-ups. Do you have a dance move that it's your go-to move? I like to move my shoulders a lot. You know, when everything else fails, I bust out with a sprinkler. I mean, you that can't works. go wrong. <laughs> That's also a classic dance move. Absolutely, there, Andrea bust out with the sprinkler. And Jessica does a little shoulder move right there. A little there. shoulder shrug. <laughs> it's pretty elaborate. I mean, the fact they have the, all these lights, everybody in disco theme, and look, we have dancers in cages, and that lady has- the costumes oh, are absolutely. incredible. Look at that disco ball in the middle of the water. You know, I think these dancers will be able to teach us some dance moves. Because with my sprinkler, your shoulder moves, I don't think we'll get far if we're on that boat. A round of applause. What a great performance. They have the old episodes inspiring their current dance moves. Absolutely. I love that projection. Boogie on down. I mean, Bandstand really was a trademark, and the fact that it definitely still rings very popular today, just a testament. Here's another Carefree Boat Club boat, this celebrating friends. There is a couch and the lamp from the show. Lots of friends on board, as you can see. You can rent this boat. It's great for fishing. Do you fish, Jessica? I've tried a few times. I've caught a couple little ones, but <laughs> wouldn't say I'm a pro. How about you, Andrea? Um, I like to fish. I don't catch much, but I definitely, um, I mean, we live in Florida. How can we not fish? I definitely we love it. We have to it. give it another shot. Absolutely. So anybody who wants to help us out, we're definitely open to it. I love that white Christmas tree in front. I love the candy cane details with the snowflakes. Very festive tonight. 
And this is another boat you can rent. Here's my girl from the Carefree Boat Club. They are a modern family on board this boat decorated with lights and signs that they made themselves. Look at that. I love Modern Family. They also have a picture frame on there. They say this is one of their most popular boats. I mean, as you can see, I, I can understand why it's one of the most popular boats. Modern Family, such a great show. It's hysterical. It's an instant classic. Do you have a favorite character for Modern Family? I love Sofia Vergara's Sofia Vergara. I Vergara. Vergara. I love her. My Colombian friend. That's right. She's so beautiful. What a great show. You know, life is so good. And it's really good night for one couple. An employee of the Carefree Boat Club is asking his girlfriend to marry him. Aww. She won't know until she sees this sign on the boat. I hope she says yes. I bet they'll be spending a lot of time on Carefree Boats. Oh, Caroline, you better say yes. That is very romantic. That is a romantic way to ask. I like original. I love origi originality. This guy gets two thumbs up. Here is decked out another Carefree Boat Club entry. Captain Larry Litvin and his friends are celebrating classic TV game show name that tune. Carefree lets you be a boater without having to own a boat. They have locations in Pompano Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Aventura, and Coconut Grove. And really, how can you not go boating living in South Florida? Or, ev or even if you're coming for vacation? It's one of the best activities we can offer. Absolutely. Do you get seasick? I used to when I was younger, but now I just love it. Okay, good. How about you? Uh, sometimes. Here we go. It's the Love Boat on board the Serenity 3 tonight. They made those smokestacks and lifeboats. They even have smoke machines on board to send smoke out to the stacks. They also made the portholes on the side. The guests were also encouraged to come as cruise ship passengers. The more obnoxious, the better. <laughs> Julie, Captain Stubbing, and the rest of the gang are on board too. This put together by the Wilson family. They have won parade awards in the past. We could definitely see why they have won parade awards in the past. I really love the theme, obnoxious cruise ship passengers. Are you obnoxious on a cruise? I might dress obnoxious on the fancy night. Yeah, I go <laughs> I go on um, karaoke. That's definitely my thing yeah, on a cruise ship. I could get obnoxious with that, too. That's too much fun. <laughs> the Fort Lauderdale Women's Club is sponging up TV's greatest hits. They're really soaking up the theme. Get it, SpongeBob soaking up. They have an eight foot pineapple house on board. Patrick Starr, SpongeBob himself, and Squidward Tentacles. Coral Tree with a star on top, and Mystery the Seahorse. The Fort Lauderdale Women's Club putting all of this together. They've been around since 1911 have been working to address civic and humanitarian needs in the community ever since Otter's captain, singer-songwriter, actor Ned Cray is a retired harbor pilot from Port Everglades. And I love SpongeBob. He's such a great cartoon, I love him too. My favorite is Patrick, really, because he's pretty funny. The pineapple is amazing. They put a lot of work into that. Look at the glitter, look how big that pineapple is. Do you see the people dressed as jellyfish? That is so cool. <laughs> That's definitely a great costume idea. SpongeBob is definitely a family favorite. Bravo to the Women's Club. Great job, Women's Club. The Galleria at Fort Lauderdale Reindeer are back this year. The Galleria sharing their giant reindeer to help light the way for Santa. Rudolph and his friends stand over 26 feet tall on top of the yacht. Wave to Miss Florida Teen USA, Jara Corson. She is a Seminole native and is the first Native American to win the title. 
Six baby reindeer are keeping Rudolph company aboard Caprice. You know the Galleria reindeer are a must-see holiday light attraction. Of course, if the reindeer are here, Santa is in the parade too. The layout of that boat is pretty interesting. I love how you can see through it. What a great boat. Everybody is dressed to the nines on that boat on this 130 foot showboat. I see some of Santa's helpers on that boat. Here's the Fantasy Island boat aboard Caribbean Queen. Make Sense Resorts World Bimini and Bimini Superfast are on board. The super fast cruise ships get you from Miami to Bimini in two hours. Resorts World Bimini has restaurants, bars, shopping, and you name it. Bimini is the fishing and dive capital of the world, so it truly is a fantasy island. Such a great boat. They're having so much fun. Resorts World Bimini super fast. And they really, they even have a DJ. That's pretty fun. I love that. Fantasy Island looks amazing. The Galleria at Fort Lauderdale reindeer are back this year. The Galleria sharing their giant reindeer to help light the way for Santa. Rudolph and his friends stand over 26 feet tall on top of the yacht. Rudolph's nose is shining bright tonight. And let's wave to Miss Florida Team USA, Jarrah Corson. She is Seminole native and is the first Native American to win the title. There she, she is. Looks beautiful. Oh yeah, so pretty. Sparkling tonight. And as you can see, six baby reindeer are keeping Rudolph company aboard the Caprice. And you know the Galleria reindeer are a must-see holiday light attraction. And of course, the reindeer are here, Santa. Here's a classic boat. Lou Demir roofing on board. The Shireen was built in 1929 and was put into service during World War II. She patrolled the East Coast looking for U-boats, even had machine gun mounted on the bow. The owner liked Shireen's history, so he bought her. I love that you have a little piece of history in this Winter Fest boat parade. Lou Jezdemir roofing on board. Look, the kids are having so much fun, and he's showing some dance moves, as you can see. They're excited for the holidays. That's a beautiful tree on top of that boat. Absolutely, very classic. And the party continues. This is Tug Hero from Bradford Marine. They have the Marine Industries Association of South Florida on board tonight. This boat is just covered with lights like they do every year. And in honor of our theme TV's greatest hits, they've added some TV superheroes on board. Captain America, Wonder Woman, as you can see, always decorate with the patriotic theme and it always looks absolutely spectacular. I love Captain America. They have so many great lights and look at the superheroes on the back. What an exciting theme. They're off to save the world. I know Wonder Woman. That is Erica. She's a Facebook friend. <laughs> <laughs> is that Keith Partridge? Winterfest wants everyone to come on, get happy with this Partridge family entry. Parade organizers brought back past Grand Marshal and 70s heartthrob David Cassidy to celebrate this year's theme, TV's Greatest Hits. David, I think I love you. And what am I so afraid of? Okay, I will not <laughs> hurt your ears, but I love that song. <laughs> he is on a 65-foot powerboat tonight. And you know, he's a local. 
he is? He's a local. Keith Partridge, residing in South Florida. Hmm. I love it. Come on, get happy. Love it. That was such a great show. There he is. Say hello. Here's Riverfront Cruises. It's one of the few boats where you can buy tickets and actually be in the parade. She's decked out in thousands of holiday lights. This boat does an hour and a half sightseeing tour four times a day, 365 days a year. That's a busy boat. That is a busy boat. They're touring everyone around South Florida, showing them what we love so much. And I really love the fact that you can pay to be on the riverfront cruises and be a part of the actual parade. It's very exciting to be able to purchase a ticket and be in the Winterfest parade. So it's definitely a bucket list thing to do. Be in the Winterfest boat parade. At least my bucket list. I like it. I mean, we're back here. We're not on a boat, so I still have to do that. The crowd is just loving this 2014 Winterfest boat parade. And they're very lucky to be watching from the sidelines because this is the biggest boat parade in the entire world. Absolutely. The fact that they get to go up close and personal, it's pretty interesting and amazing that they have this opportunity. Here comes the Liberty Bell. This boat is South Florida's biggest charter boat. Size does matter. It holds 600 passengers. She's decked out in her own lights. You can see her cruising the Intracoastal. Liberty Bell is reflective of the days of paddle wheel boats. She's got a lot of Southern charm about her. This is her debut in the Winterfest Boat Parade. I love those old style boats. Oh yeah, so classic really, so much character. And the fact that it's huge, I love that. 600 passengers you said? Three different levels or four different levels it looks like. How exciting. That's a 115 foot, 600 passenger power boat. You can invite all of your best friends. And your Facebook friends. <laughs> That Look, is so beautiful. So gorgeous. And then in the back, we'll see the paddle that's keeping them moving. Definitely a party on that boat. Everyone is having a great time. Liberty Bell Cruises. Can hear their music. Yeah. Well, the Liberty Bell definitely has a lot of personality. It is a massive sized boat. Winterfest proudly presents this entry reflecting today's lifestyle. PSAV Presentation Services has transformed this water taxi into a social media wall with a mesh theme. Look at all the photos uploaded by our viewers with the hashtag WinterfestSoFlow14 captured by On The Ball Marketing. I definitely love the MASH theme, very popular this year. It's very cool to they decorated the water taxi. I think that's really neat and the fact that they're incorporating social media, it definitely shows how important social media is in our day. And that's right, hashtag WinterfestSoFlow14. Use it, people. We are checking out the hashtag. Absolutely. Remember, hashtag on Twitter and on Instagram, and the list goes on and on. Look at those light-up costumes. That is really neat. Winterfest brings light up the night robots, 10-foot robots shooting lasers and smoke. They sure are bright. Am I watching the parade or a sci-fi movie? Winterfest proudly presents a futuristic twist to the parade. Light Up the Night brings the ultimate LED experience, a floating nightclub. Let's pump up the music and start dancing. 
I really love this theme. It's very futuristic. And oh my goodness, do you see that alien in the front? That's pretty neat. That is very <laughs> cool. Who doesn't love robots? And right there you see some hashtags, L-U-T-N. Another water taxi decorated with LED lights. That looks incredible. I love the robots. Now, who doesn't like a robot? Can you do the robot? You know it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I can do the sprinkler, I can do the robot. That's right. It's a very high-tech party on that boat. Here comes the Hannah B. On board tonight, the folks from Bank United they are celebrating Broward County's 100th anniversary. Happy holidays from your friends at Bank United. We salute Broward County on their 100 year anniversary. Bank United, we're with you. What a beautiful yacht, really. This 112 foot yacht is amazing. They have a full bar going at the top of the boat. Yes, you do. It's definitely a party aboard the Hannah B. Very swanky. Beautiful boat. Really, Pink United went all out. Look at the decorations. It's incredible. Come on, man. I want to see some superheroes. And the boat, come on, man, delivers. They are the Bat Boat. Their theme is Justice League. I see Batman, Catwoman, Superman, the folks from West Insurance putting this all together. They were best overall in their category last year. Looks like a winner this year, too. More I mean, superheroes on the sea. Absolutely. I mean, you can't go wrong with superheroes. My favorite, Catwoman. There she is. The Phoenix Gang supporting children's cancer research. The I Care, I Cure Childhood Cancer Foundation on board. That group was founded after Beth and Brad Besner lost son to a complication from chemo. They wanted to help find gentler cures for childhood cancer. First time in the parade for That's My Son boat. All the Peanuts character are on board. They really brought this boat to life in such a wonderful cause. So cute with all the characters. I mean, the Peanuts gang is definitely a favorite. Who doesn't love them? Here is another spectacular entry put together by the folks at Winterfest. It's Broadway across America, and there are some amazing shows coming to Fort Lauderdale this year. Lion King, Motown the Musical, Pippin, and Anything Goes. All will be playing at the Broward Center. Have you seen any of those shows? I haven't seen, I saw part of the Motown musical at one of the Winterfest events, but it looks amazing. I would love to go see the full show. Oh, def I've seen The Lion King, but I have to make it to the Broward Center to see Motown, Anything Goes, and Pippin. They definitely have had rave reviews. What an exciting theme for the boat. So many fun things you can do with that. Oh, yeah. Here comes Freedom Waters. On board tonight, the young professionals in yachting for Fort Lauderdale. They say be safe, loving, and share the fun. I'm sure they are making that happen on Freedom Waters tonight. A lot of personality, Freedom Waters, as you can see. They've got their palm tree leaves representing. Absolutely. But they have like a Gilligan theme. It definitely looks, yeah. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. Here's the SS Minnow with the Gilligan's Island theme on board, of course. They turn their bimini top into a tropical tiki hut. I hear the professor is hard at work making gadgets to get them off the island. Here comes two men in a truck with their fabulous light show. They sync their 20,000 lights with their stereo. 
Their theme is the Little Rascals. They have celebrity dog Petey on board. Actually, that's their dog, Kai, who is celebrating her ninth birthday. These guys won lots of awards in the past. Two men and a truck have moved more than 50,000 families in the last 15 years. Student aces on board the Thumbs Up. Carrie Grusson, an active disabled American sponsoring this boat. Student Aces provides leadership programs, mentoring, and scholarships for high school students. She is all about getting the disabled out on the water. It's decorated with green and white lights. They are celebrating Fox NFL Sunday as their TV's greatest hit. There is a goalpost on board and Cletus the Fox mascot. On the front of the boat, there are stadium lights. Blah, 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 blah. There, I said it, blah, blah, twice. <laughs> That's because this is the blah, blah, two. They say let it snow on the blah, blah, two. First year in the parade for these guys. They say they are excited to finally join after watching for years. They have light up snow, lit up snowflakes and Frosty the Snowman. Very cute. Even the crew is dressed in all white with Santa hats. Miss Trish is up next. I bet they can tell me the way to Sesame Street. They are celebrating Christmas on Sesame Street. All the Sesame Street characters are on board. Captain Ron says he chose Sesame Street for all his grandkids who are on board tonight. That is so cute. Look at the characters. We have Big Bird right there. Bert. Count, what, Count Dracula? Bert and Ernie, Elmo, yes, Count Dracula. <laughs> Sesame Street is on the Intracoastal tonight. And they're dancing it up. This boat certainly represents TV's greatest hits. It's the MTV Video Music Award boat. See the giant moon man from the MTV statue? They also have a TV on the bow. They chose this theme because they love MTV. Gloria J. Phil and Claire. We're told the music is Andrea Farfan on the saxophone. And right there, here's Gilligan's Island Boat, popular theme this year. This is the minnow. They say they are stranded castaways from Pompano Beach on a three-hour tour. Skipper Rick wants everyone to know that's a pillow under a shirt. They have Big Gilligan and Little Gilligan, and Little Gilligan is a great fisherman. Say hello. Now here's an interesting boat. The folks on board did a team building today. They literally had to design and decorate the boat for the parade. Ion Interactive Leadership Team is on board. They say they are working together for a very special Ion Interactive holiday. That is a beautiful angel. Absolutely. Here's a blinged out boat, Carol's Jewelry on board the Slipknot. They are the Green Acres boat. I can't imagine Luke Mormon and his wife Erica on a farm but they are dressed as Eddie Albert and Eva Gabor up on the bow right, bow right there. Check out Erica's jewels. Look, Arnold the pig is up there too. They chose this theme because they bought the Georgia pig this year. And of course, Carol's Jewelers is the official jewelers of Winterfest. Here comes Underdog. There he is up on the bow. First time in the parade for the Underdog. Most of the time, this beautiful boat is cruising Florida and the Bahamas. The six-foot underdog is joined by another famous pooch, Snoopy, on there as well. Family and friends did all the decorations for this 60-foot powerboat. I love Snoopy. Snoopy leading the way. The Bruce W. Carter Medal of Honor Young Marines on board the Betano. Also on board, Toys for Tots, both great organizations. They're doing the Nutcracker tonight. You can see them fall down when the cannon goes off. <laughs> the boat is decked out with thousands of multicolored lights. 
The Marine Time Historical Society of Fort Lauderdale is also on board. The National Maritime Historical Society is the national voice for America's maritime heritage. It helps raise awareness of our nation's history and the role seafaring has played in shaping the United States of America along with the rest of the world. Such a fun theme. They did a great job with the Nutcracker reenactment. There they go. <laughs> there they go again. The cannon goes off and that's definitely a great trick. <laughs> the kids are so cute. I'm sure they're having an amazing time. Here comes Chabad Lubavitch of Fort Lauderdale aboard Flamingo. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. They are in the parade every year and always have great music. And they always look like they're having such a good time. Flamingo is a charter fishing boat. The owners and crew of Flamingo decorate for the synagogue every year. Good work, Flamingo. That's a 67-foot commercial fishing boat, and it looks amazing. Happy Hanukkah from the Chabad Lubavitch of Fort Lauderdale. Such great energy, Jessica. They're having so much fun on the boat. What a great party. And the party continues. Here comes the Rat Pack Miami. Nice old fashioned Christmas lights on this boat. Marilyn Monroe is on board. They also have Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra and Sammy Davis Jr. The Rat Pack is totally represented on this boat. They perform in Coral Gables at the Open Stage Club. And they are your favorites. Wow, she looks so much like Marilyn Monroe. I know. Your Rat Pack favorites on this 51-foot yacht. Absolutely beautiful. And I really love the theme. Very cool. I'm sure they have some good show tunes on that boat as well. Oh, yes. Here is the Corsand, a classic boat. This 1988 is a classic example of custom boat building in the state of Maine. Lyman Morse is the builder. They are one of the few builders to make custom boats. She's all decked out tonight in lights. Really such a classic look to the boat. It really is. It reminds me of Maine. Those look like the boats up there. They are celebrating South Florida's diversity aboard Jordan. They have lots of lights and flags on board. They call themselves the Latino sensation. I'm sure they will have mojitos for all of us after the parade. I mean, who doesn't love a mojito? We need to find them right after the parade. Yes, to celebrate the Winterfest Boat Parade. What a cute idea to put the big teddy bear and Frosty the Snowman on top. It's a 23-foot powerboat. There you go. The energy is in the air. Here comes the Mike Klein Foundation on the fourth and goal. Here's the man of the hour we've all been waiting for, Santa Claus. Baptist Health South Florida bringing Santa this year. The Jungle Queen is decorated with the Baptist Health logo and their signature pineapples. Happy holidays from the Baptist Health South Florida to everyone. Joining them on board are the nominees from the Junior Captains Contest and un other undeserved children. What a great night for them to spend it with Santa. Hi Santa. Hi Santa. I've been good. Me too. <laughs> So much wonderful energy, really, on this amazing, amazing boat. They went all out with the lights this year. That thing is shining from top to bottom. I wonder how long it really took them to put it together. There he is, the man of the hour, Santa Claus. 
He's so cute. The light up pineapples are so beautiful. They're representing with the reindeers on there. And I'm so sure the kids are ecstatic to be seeing Santa Claus. And you can see the kids on board. They're very excited to be on board with the one and only Santa Claus. Baptist Health South Florida with Santa Claus on board. Hi, Santa. He looks like the real thing. He is the real thing. He's here. He's on the Intracoastal tonight. Such a beautiful display of lights. So much happiness and energy on that Jungle Queen. So many amazing displays. We had such a great time. It's been another incredible Winterfest boat parade. Wishing you happy holidays from Ion South Florida. I'm Jessica Kuzovitsky. And, and I'm Andrea Ocampo. Until next time. Happy holidays. Here's a little ditty about Winterfest. All the boats and homes decked out to be called the best. Colorful lights, adding sparkle to the night. Yes, I think we're on a roll. It's so